coming to you live from the heart of the ZetaCraft SMP server. It's time for the ZetaCraft Recap with your one and only host, the incomparable Geek Squeak. Hey there ZetaCrafters, welcome back to the ZetaCraft Recap. I know it's been a while since our first episode, but hey, life comes first, Minecraft comes second. But guess what? We're back with episode 2, and I'm super excited to share all the amazing things that have been happening on our server. In this episode, we got some awesome content lined up for you. We're diving into an exclusive interview with Ricky CFD. You won't want to miss what he has to say. And that's not all, we'll also be doing a fantastic house tour of Maya Quest's house. It's packed with creativity and surprises, so stay tuned. So grab your snacks, get comfy, and let's jump right into it. I hope you enjoy the episode 2 of the ZetaCraft Recap. Thank you for joining in. Don't forget to press that like button, and if you're not subscribed yet, please press that subscribe button. And thank you to all the people who subscribed since episode 1. Okay, and here we are for the next segment on our recap. It's the house tour of Maya Quest. Look at this giant mansion. And of course, this beautiful view of Guru MT and his billboards. I think Maya never removed it, so. So let's see if he's home. It's got a very beautiful garden. So what can we expect on in the inside? Hello? Hello, anybody, uh, anybody home? Hello, is that a geek squeak at my door? We are here for the recap. R recap, huh? <laughs> Just close the door. <laughs> recap, nope. <laughs> yeah, nope, not today. <laughs> so uh, uh, we were wondering, and the viewers, if we could see your house. Oh, you want to see the pad, huh? I want to see the Omega mansion you made. The inside. See what's inside. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty I, nice in there. You I may think heard, you know, but you have no idea. I also heard you had a pet, like a giant rhino or something. Oh, I've got a lot of pets. This is the Animal Kingdom. It's the hub of the Animal Kingdom. The capital, the, the soul or essence of it. Yep, it's all right here. So there's well, animals. All the animals. <laughs> is that what I'm smelling maybe now? Uh, oh, yeah, you want to come over here really quick. You might want to edit this out of your recap because it's uh, not that family friendly. But we got this cool bear, but it eats a lot. Uh, you got the course. shovel. And, ah, and then we, yes, I, see. I just kind of been throwing it over there. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, uh, for now, I'll try to remember to cut this out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's probably what you're smelling, but this is snuggle bug. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, he really is. Tootsie nose. Well, take one of those. Come over oh, here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my inventory is so full. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just toss it on in, in front of you? Whoa! Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. He gets all honey pod. You can give him sweet oh. berries and they turn red. There's even, even honey on his face. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. That's that snuggle awesome. bug for you. Very cute. <laughs> so, where did you find him? Um, I found him in a forest uh, many blocks yonder. So Many, you... many. It was a trek. You, you took him from his living space? or his, Well, his... he kind of followed me. He liked what I had uh, in my hand, I think. So he oh, just kept honey, following me. He was like, honey, yeah. honey, honey. Yep, yep. I was singing that too along the way, uh, trying to entice him in any way I could. And it worked. And now I've got him in a cage. Well, it, it is very cute. Uh, hopefully he's <laughs> getting a, a little bigger space when you have the zoo on, I guess. Yep, yep. Uh, his ancestors might. He's here to stay. This is his home cage now. <laughs> he seems very happy, so. Yeah, I give him fire and water, so he's cool. <laughs> if, if Peter calls, I won't give them your home address, okay? I won't. Okay, I'll thank you. I, I appreciate yeah. that. Because, uh, yeah, they don't need th to know what the Animal Kingdom does in the Animal Kingdom. Exactly. Well, <laughs> shall we do the house tour? We shall. Come on in. <laughs> Let me just get over here. And hi, welcome to my throne and main entrance room. Yep. 
<laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. You're on a legendary tiger rug. You've got the jungle theme all around you. Oh, Animals. wait, this is a tiger rug. Yeah, yeah. That was quite a beast to slay, let me tell you. Yeah, you can't, but, fit, can't, can't fit that in the cage. Yeah, yeah. But I, I took care of it, no problem, because I am the world's greatest warrior, clearly. Yeah, look at his muscles. Yeah. Here we got my buddy, Monkey D. Mm -hmm. My right-hand man, you could say. Very awesome. Yeah, I got a little birdie here. See, animals all over. Yeah, they but got, you they probably they're staying, so that means you're taking good care of them. Yeah, I do. I take the best care of my Whoa. animals. Like, look at this guy. He he gets free roam of the house. It's, he's giving me a little bit of this, uh, the side eye, though. Nah, but look at that smile on his face. It's a happy <laughs> side eye. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, you got a and lot of skulls in the. On, on there yeah see. yeah you know not all animals make it <laughs> no of course not. it's 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 like trophies right i mean yeah who likes a bet in minecraft exactly um in here we have my storage area where i do all my crafting and all my stuff where i tinker build little things there's storage That's everywhere nice. yep cool. yeah well those are something from one of the mods we're using this season and you can see even here we have barrels. There's barrels everywhere. There's storage everywhere. If we if we take a look back here, there's even more storage. And I got storage sorting. Oh wow! Yeah, we can come yeah. down here. Pay no attention to this frog. Uh, Frogs are down. all over the uh, place. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there we are. And this is the backside of my storage, bulk storage stuff. And right over here, I've got a secret hiding spot for hide and seek. I got Ooh, stuff like this perfect. hidden all over the place. Little things like that that you might not notice. And even master level hiding spots. Oh, I see. Like down there. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's a lot yep. of redstone. So is uh, it yeah, fully a automatic bit. system? Yeah, like for all of this stuff down here that gets sorted. You're so fast. Yeah. Animal Kingdom. Gotta be fast. <laughs> so this there is where my bulk storage is. Some bulk more than other bulk. Right? Have a lab, That's a uh, up. Very cool. Yep. That goes straight to my crafting area where we just were. I was just this asking, how do you find anything dome? in this? But it's underground. Very yeah. Smart. yeah. A lot of it's very underground. Smart. Yeah. yeah don't, don't. It depends don't. what we're looking for. Never come to Ricky's base. It's a, it's a mess. This is so much better. <laughs> Good to hear. This is where I do my bee work. Nothing oh, this special. Is, uh, the honey uh, factory. Yep, honey factory. Ooh, they're this all is on a, the rope. <laughs> a possible <laughs> hiding spot if the bees aren't hiding up here too. Nice. Yeah. They like to but that's the, nothing the special. Rope, I guess. That's just it's, where the bees. It really live. is special. It's uh, I'm, I'm watching everything with shaders, so. Oh, even really better. Nice. Oh, you got oh. a friend. He's okay. We got plenty. Don't worry about it. Okay. Him. okay. <laughs> Animals roam free when they get free. <laughs> when they get free. <laughs> <laughs> In here, we have a sulfur breeding room, growing room. I guess it doesn't really breed. But yeah, frogs breed in here. I don't, they're not really here right now, but we do have a lot of like frogs a giant here. swimming pool. You ever swim in here? Um, yeah, your, I do when I, when I clean it out. This is a secret for your skin routine. Yes, it is. Sulfur is great for the pores, and you can use it to make gunpowder. So it's my creeper farm, kind of. Oh, that makes you so spicy. That's that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Check this spicy. out. Oh, what? Show me. I'll also I'll, I'll ask you uh, a second. Cover your ears. Uh oh. Ooh. Boom! Look at all that sulfur. That's so many items. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a lot. It's like nine stacks or something. So it's pretty cool. Really awesome. Oh, and I have and all that's the reflections where I get all kingdom. my gunpowder. Smart, oh, nice. really smart. Very cool. But this Very room is design. pretty basic. More about function than decoration. Not no, a lot of hiding places. One with impossible all the textures to going find. On, you, you did amazing uh, making like a giant room like this really Thanks. feel comfortable. and. I, I, nice. I dislike the lack of depth, I think, is all it is. Like the big flat roof. You oh, know, I got to get some something more depth. Up is something up here or maybe if you yeah, use those uh, yeah the slats, house is can... above us 
Oh, yeah. But I can use slabs to go down, so. And exactly. here's a possible secret hiding, hiding spot. Ah, uh, there you go. So if somebody is looking for you, you're showing them all now the hiding spots? Or? No, there are so many hiding spots, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what if you... Oh, oh. For, ooh, for everybody watching, if you can count how many hiding spots we saw in this video, you get a thumbs up. Oh, they won't even know. They're going to be seeing them all over the place, like, and not even knowing it, you know? Because <laughs> they're all over the place. Well? <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about spicy... I've heard some rumors of a photo yes. shoot you did. Oh yeah, the photo shoot. Yes, yeah. Is it something we can shoot. show on the on the camera, or is it maybe? Uh, I, I show spicy? everybody, Whoa. Whoa. anybody who will look. Wait, what's <laughs> this? That is okay. So hide and seek wise, I put these barriers here to let you know that this is off bounds for hide and seek. But ah. this path is a secret path that goes out the mountain and gives Hypno an easy way to get into my base from his base. So he's making a vault, right? Yeah, he's in a fallout vault. And yeah, things are dire down there. Vault living. Oh, it's rough. Hope the crops grow. Yeah, well, yeah. The, they're growing pretty well, surprisingly. That's the one thing he does good there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to sneak in here and just take a look real quick. Oh, The super this, uh, smelter? Like... Oh, it's a super smelter. Yep, yep. A 32 furnace super smelter. Nothing special. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay. You know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It, it gets fed in from above, which is kind of the problem. Uh, hopper speed is a little slow, so it can be a little slow to get items where they need to go. I mean, but frogs are slow, fast. and you got a frog foreman here, so. Yeah, yeah. He takes care of things usually. Um, right now, I don't think he'd help out much. He'd be blocking my mine carts in... Slow in the process. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to talk to him. Yeah, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> they don't all behave. Back to action. All right. Now wow. we're back up here at the main floor. You got a little meager enchanting area, a little hang Very. area where we, I like to read over here. Very colorful yeah. in here. It's nice. Oh, thank you. That's I'll what I go for. Cake on accident. Ah, no problem. That's what it's there for. I don't actually like cake. I don't need a whole lot of it. But you oh, know, wow. you catch some butterflies, I see. Yeah, I'm a big butterfly fan. Um, I've got a conservatory this season, and oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see that. Nice. But yeah, this is where I uh, plan my butterfly adventures. Okay, so what do you like more, moths or butterflies? Because did you know that moths are more beautiful than butterflies? I love moths, but I think they're all beautiful. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Beautiful. Yeah, but I do love moths a lot. Maybe not Mothman. He's a little weird. Oh, don't, we don't invasive. talk about Mothman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where I drop off the super smelter stuff here, and it comes out in here. So there's oh, wow. that. And then we got some other furnaces. Very compact. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But if we head up here, we'll get a little closer to what you want to see. This is the kitchen food area. You want food, you come up here. You can usually find it in name? any of the oh, containers. Oh, you don't have a name yet. Nah, yeah, that cat just moved in because this is the fish barrel, and it hasn't left that fish barrel since. Understandable. <laughs> Go figure. It's like fish. Yeah. He's a beautiful yep. cat. I've never seen this they one They tend before. to. I believe it's Calico. Surely a female. Very cute. <laughs> All right. Head up here. Also, what, what I'm noticing, I see a lot of faces everywhere. Yep, my totems. You know, yeah, I, it's, it's I got a jungle them. animal theme. Yeah, the totem of undying is even a totem this season. Really? Totems cool. everywhere. Seems fitting. It's a totem. It's in its name. So it's something you, uh, you do uh, in your uh, episode. You create a lot of custom stuff, and it's really awesome. Yeah, I do. Like this cape. Uh, you know. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my enchanting area. Nothing special. Just a small room dedicated to enchanting. They got some Oops. nice little leaves Ooh. hanging around. But Such this. a nice view. Yeah, yeah, the views are great up here at the top of the mountain. Out here, this is where I make all my goo. And here, this is my goo machine. Oh, yeah, I saw your goo shop. Ooh yep, yep. This is the source of all the goo. And uh, just storage over here. I've got my handy-dandy cable craft approved uh, log stripper. I guess we can say that. Oh, I remember when we were uh, doing the mob farm, he figured out that uh, 
you can cut leather and stuff on planks, right? Yeah, that's it's amazing. This is actually that's his crazy. design. I oh, love nice. it. Very yep. cool. But enough of a distraction. Let's head this over here to see what everybody wants to see. My oh bedroom. wow. Okay, very this cool. This is where it's at. Oh! <clears throat> what? Okay, um, I think I need to blur that. Ah, nah. I, I wake up to that every morning, and it's the greatest view. It makes your day. <clears throat> oh, it's, uh, it's making me... What? That's a giant TV. Yeah, yeah. I like to watch TV up here. You know, hang out in the bed, watching TV. This is the pad. I got a, I have, got a bird I up never here. never blush so hard here. Okay, shall we go to the next room? <laughs> you like my flowers around my bed, though? I mean, I'm trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. create a scene here, an ambiance. <laughs> Very beautiful flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the implication. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we have a crafting room. Basically, yeah, other yeah. crafting stuff that you never know we might need. Like Very a loom. Very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to loom something? You loom it there. Very... <clears throat> Very nice. Yeah, yeah, Loom. Yeah, Very nice. Hey, I, I Very get nice it. Loom. I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. Oof. Let's take a step outside. Uh, cool off for a minute here. Oh, well, cute. Is, That's cute. Yeah, got a little garden area. Down below, you might have seen some of the trees that we have on these little pedestals. Well, we got a little baby one growing here. Getting it ready to move out into the house somewhere. Wherever the we find worlds. fitting. Yep. Going to start and high school soon. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. He doesn't like to learn that much, so. Doesn't have good grades? <laughs> yeah, his grades he aren't that to, great. He has He's to growing leave. too slow. <laughs> ah, you nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, I see some pillows here. Yeah, this is our hangout area where we come and tell stories, you know? We just sit around yeah. the circle and chill. Do you... uh? Put a little dirt under your pillow for the dirt, man. I, I, I might put a little dirt under there. That's smart, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you never yeah. know. He, he needs it for his lair under the mountains. Yes, I get that. I get that. Here's a balloon. We like looking at balloons here. Oh, that's beautiful. How does it... <laughs> Wait. It just floats. It's got the oh. right amount of helium. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, something we need to see is the rave elephants because I heard you. Yep, the rave elephants. I I did get pranked by Kenzie. We can go check that out right now if you want. Oh yeah, let's do it. And if people uh, want to see it, down. I think they can go to Kenzie's channel. Probably not because she's not making content currently. She's just having fun. But oh, cool, cool, cool. sure. <laughs> <laughs> just check out Kenzie, everybody. Yeah, check her out anyway. Belvedere. Yep, Belvedere. Comes from a, a gaming channel I watch often upstairs in my bedroom. Oh, on a giant TV, <laughs> of course. Oh, here's the sacred totems, by the way. Yeah, sacred totems. Oh, both of them. Oh. So, uh, how, where do they come from if they were sacred? How did they all end up here? types of wood from all across the land, gifted to me from other animal kingdoms that aren't as kingdomish as mine. So, did somebody bless them? They are very blessed. They're here. Oh, of course they're blessed. <laughs> oh, look at this view. This is beautiful. It's getting nighttime. The sunset is oh. beautiful. And then you look back and you just see this giant mansion. Great color code. Right. You're doing really so good. nice. Um, I should probably hit the hay really quick so no phantoms come and attack you. Maybe. <laughs> we'll go be Let's back after over this here quick in intermission. What? Now, with those elephants showing up, uh, I decided to lean into the color palette, and that's where this tree came about. And let me tell you, this thing is full of hiding spots. This is beautiful. And you started a shop, right? Yep, I sell these trees. This is the Tanania tree, and I sell everything Tanania. Quick question, which episode was it where you built the shop? I built it in a shop, the episode that just didn't come out yet actually yeah i haven't actually edited that one so it's coming out but it's it's there <laughs> <laughs> well uh if this is pointless <laughs> then i'll can blur it or be nah. waiting and go to his channel and check it out my belief is no spoilers free advertisement that's, so oh my god that works now careful that's a dangerous lion down there he will attack 
The other lions, not so much, but that one, he's mean. Or she's mean. She's a, she's a bit yellowish also. She, yeah, different. that's how you know the, the dangerous ones are yellow. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he, it doesn't he, like bananas. She just wants you. Yeah. One thing, you see these little uh, trash cans all around the spot. You can actually throw stuff in them. I never Pretty knew cool. that. That is amazing. Here, some silver. Yeah, it's, it's like a hopper. Go. Trash can hopper. I got my wheat farm. I got wool farm. Up here, we, we breed the turtles. Oh, wow. So this is the start of your zoo already, then? or? Oh, yeah. Just... Well, that and the animal kingdom. You know, animals got to live in the animal kingdom, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> I see the butterflies. Really cool. Yeah, we're going to get to that, but not just yet. <laughs> oh, 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 no, I didn't see it. Elephants. Oh, yeah, the rave. This is my rave, rave, grand... Rave elephants? Rave elephants. This is my grand staircase that's really out of place currently, but I like it. When it sounds <laughs> good, because it's bones. Yeah, yeah, fitting. Oh, so, yeah, what? these elephants um, have been partying. This looks Kenzie so took good. them out. With the shaders? <laughs> wow. Oh, I bet. With shaders, they got to look magical. So I'm using replay mode for this so I can see them easy, but I'm going to fly up real quick and check. All right. Yeah, get a good look. There's a lot to see. And oh, they're big. Wow. Very cool. Yep. You always nail the uh, animal designs and stuff like oh, that. Oh, thanks. It's really cool. I remember you made the fox in another season and show. Oh, yeah, that fox. That I want to really make first. it again. The, I love that fox. It was one of the first times she tried organics like that, right? Yep, definitely was. And uh, that Wait, one how love, daring I'd is say. this? That's uh, pretty sketchy. You never know. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get tired of doing that at some point. <laughs> They're both doing it, right? So, do they have names? Uh, they do not yet. Uh, maybe the comments can name them. Okay, so everybody go to episode. Not out yet? Oh, no. Last episode. I don't number them, though. It's uh, Pachydermis Maximus. Okay, everybody go Something to that episode. Or other. And put in the comments on my video how he should name these elephants. Yeah, let me know, folks. Have folks. Right here, <laughs> across this river, is going to be the, the north end of the zoo. So I'm going to connect directly to one side of the zoo. All right, so let's head back up here, past these little ponds, and take a look at the butterflies, because that is a must, let me tell you. So it's good did you for... know the billboard uh, has been one of our sponsorships this episode? Guru MT oh, nice. with the shopping district. And uh, people will see that in the interview with Ricky CFT. You'll see it anywhere you go on the server, probably. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the butterflies. All right. Go in and just get a big smile on your face. But before you do, grab some flowers out of that orange barrel and put them in your hand. Not that one. That's not a oh, barrel. That's also but, not uh, orange. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that too. Just one flower? As many as you want. You can take more and breed them. Wait, well, you can breed them. Oh, I put one down. Oh, oh my God. The hearts. This is, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. You gotta love butterflies. Right? And just uh, having them flying around you like that? Come on. I, I was afraid Talk of butterflies for one point because of that one uh, episode of uh, SpongeBob, but. Oh. Yeah, these aren't those. And as you yeah, can see, you're breeding caterpillars. And these caterpillars will eventually Ooh. turn into chrysalises, like this one right here, and then turn into butterflies. Metapod. Yep. That's exactly. So it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so I need to see enough yep. shaders, I see, because the shaders make uh, light gray cloud-like. If mm. I turn it off, it also looks... Probably everything. because of the weird glass I used. It's it's beautiful. Everything you make, it's just, it all fits together, and your color, coding, things is really Aww, well done. Thank you, Geek. I love it. Okay. Um, it's these butterflies. Oh, they I just still spread wearing, love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just still wearing <laughs> the flowers. So it's like, I'm in F1 <laughs> mode, so I'm like, why are they following me? 
Okay. Um, is there anything more you want to show? Um, there's, it's up to you. There's other things we could see or we could call it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do one more thing. I can uh, add it in together. And then, okay. uh, well, we, we've got the old base up there. If you want to take base. a look at that. I heard something Remember, about a, a commission of animals coming together. Yeah, that's in the old base, Camp Alpha. We've got the Alpha. tribe of the animal kingdom here. Oh, look at this that. Where you we even delegate. have Duff, Donald Duck. Yep, he's a must. He's got uh, a lot of say in this committee, actually, which is a bad idea, let me tell you. Yeah, I can never understand <laughs> it. Right? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Maybe you can translate for me. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yep, this oh, is the this committee. Is awesome. We've even got a seahorse representing oh, see the seahorse horse. Yeah, community. Yeah. <laughs> Very beautiful. And you We've got, a got somebody horse? did a little graffiti over here. And oh. yeah, that's the horse. Who would have done that's that? Mayahi, Mayaho. Oh, my ha. Such come, who would do such a thing? I know, I don't know, that's crazy. <laughs> but now it's time, Minecrafters of all ages, prepare yourself for tonight's special interview. We are graced with the presence of a man who needs no introduction, but deserves a grand one nonetheless. You know him, you love him. He's the mastermind behind all the fun we have on ZetaCraft, the maestro of our Minecraft universe. ZetaCraft, it's Ricky CFT. Applause, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, there he is. Hello. Hello, good sir. Welcome hello. In, welcome in. I, hello, I hello. Guess, take a seat. Take can a seat. I sit anywhere? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wherever you um, like. Hello. I'm going to sit here. Hello. <laughs> so. You're here on your birthday, which is crazy. It, it, How do you it, feel about that? It is actually my birthday. Um, I, I feel pretty good. I'm, uh, it's another year, and I'm really enjoying what Zetas have been doing already so early into this year. That's good. That's good. So, uh, so if we if we just dive into it, uh, are you ready to get? Uh, inter are you ready for the interrogation? Let's say In interrogation. I, I was told it was an interview. Yeah, 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 it's an interview, right, audience? Ha <laughs> ha, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh track is amazing. <laughs> Definitely, because we only have Julie in the audience. <laughs> I, I see some other faithful fans. Definitely. They've been waiting for so long for this interview. Look at them. <laughs> okay, so, Ricky. Yes. As you are the mastermind behind ZetaCraft, and all the Zeta started by calling you the king, of this server in season one, did you expect ZetaCraft to turn out how it is now with all the mods and things we did and do on the server and we added? Um, to say, did I expect this to turn out the way it has? I'm, I would say definitely not, but I will also say that the success and the things that have happened for ZetaCraft has blown me away. Um, when I first kind of came up with the idea, it was me, uh, my brother-in-law, a couple of friends, and I was like, I got this idea, I want to host a server. But I would have never guessed it would have had the following, and more importantly, just the grandeur that th we've done in these last few seasons. And we're always going for something different. The mod's obviously something very different for the season, but I also really love what we've been doing with it. Nice, that's a good answer. Yes. So as you know, Ricky, uh, I've asked the members in the Discord to put in some questions, and one of them was by George, a former Discord moderator, who asked, will you free Rupert and kidnapping him again? But for the viewers in the audience and everybody watching, of course, um, Rupert was the skeleton who was captured by Diasil, who was in full diamond gear, and he kept him as his own possession in a closet, right? Yes, uh, it was a one by two glass cage that Diosil uh, just kept Rupert uh, just locked away. And Time Architect and myself felt that it was a true injustice to have Rupert living in such squalor. So we, in season one, built a proper home for Rupert. So uh, would you free Rupert again or kidnap him again? I, I, there was no kidnapping of Rupert. We freed him from a cage and gave him a proper home. 
So if I see Rupert is caged, I obviously would do it again and make sure that he has an adequate home to really live his best life. So you have it here, folks. Rupert was never captured. Wise choice, Ricky. We can't risk any skeletons coming out of the closet, quite literally. <laughs> quite literally. So, now, let's talk about the Sadacraft community. Yes. What's the most heartwarming and unexpected interaction you've had with a fellow Zeta? Any memorable moments that stand out? Uh, I mean, the obvious choice was uh, the building of Skyrim in Season 2 with Time Architect. Uh, it was something where kind of behind the scenes, and there's obviously you never get to see this in the YouTube, uh, we were just having a discussion on Discord one day, and Time said he always had a dream to build Skyrim in a Minecraft setting, and I think it was specifically Blackreach, which, interestingly enough, we never ended up actually building, <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, I heard that, I was like, I absolutely want to do that, and then within just a couple hours, we had sketched out an entire plan, and that, that really stuck with me of how we can just throw some ideas around, and how many of the Zetas, even in this season with our ideas for The Last of Us, it's like, all we gotta do is throw out an idea, and other Zetas just jump at the opportunity to join in and build these elaborate and fantastic builds together. And that's a good response, that's, uh, wow. Yeah, no, but that's all, how it all comes together, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, the teamwork of the Zetas, you, you, you can see some of it in YouTube, but even behind the scenes, the teamwork that goes together to make the seasons how they are, is just, it's really blown me away, and it's been something that you never really expect when you're just doing these YouTube videos. Ah, yes, yes. So, now let's bring it all back to another Zeta's question. Okay. We have a question here for, uh, from Splashes in Puddles, uh, one of our Zetas, mm -hmm. and she asks, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A uh, woodchuck wood could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And there you have it, folks. A woodchuck chuck and wood, uh, woodchuck, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> this might be but, the but, silliest <laughs> question I've ever been asked, but okay. <laughs> But we have another question from uh, Splashes. Um, she asked, if you like Fantastic Mr. Fox on account of the orange the movie is. I, I can't say that I'm actually familiar with the Fantastic Mr. Fox. I just same, really like same. orange. So, <laughs> you like orange so much. Is this a color you already had like, uh, already liked as a kid? Or does it have a story behind it? Because knowing how much you like orange, I mean, you could would be able to just live in the Netherlands because it's their national color. I, I, I did really enjoy the Netherlands outfits for the World Cup. It was kind of hard to root against it uh, for Team USA, even though they clearly lost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I've... I've always really liked orange. I don't know why. It's a little bit of a weird color to like, but it really just, I think it's underappreciated. Okay, and by here, uh, this is not the end of the interview, but we have a sponsor message. So enjoy this while we come back with you later, audience. Come on down to my shopping street on Zetacraft server located in the shopping district. We've got everything to make your builds pop. First up, we've got Prismatic Prismarine. Our prismarine is more, be more beautiful than a stack of diamonds, so give your diamonds to me and trade them for a well-needed undersea vibe. We got your back. Next, we've got the beautiful bricks. Why settle for the basic blocks when you could have the beautiful bricks that stand out all on their own? For the more mysterious person, check out the dark prismarine shop. It's mysterious, it's classy, it's basically the black little dress of minecraft blocks and don't miss out on my sparkling sea lanterns shop these babies will light up your world like nobody's business because that's the perfect way to light up your base with prismarine so don't forget to come down to my shop and give me all your diamonds <laughs> okay and we're back welcome back everybody uh ricky you still feeling fine uh yes audience you're still doing well where is the audience Oh, there she is. Okay, she wasn't in front of my microphone. It's kind of big. <laughs> so, next up, we have a question, Ricky, from Cablecraft. Okay. Oh, dear. 
Cable asked, why do you hate future Ricky so much? Are you worried about Ricky, uh, future Ricky causing problems for uh, present Ricky? Um, it's not that I hate future Ricky. It's just he just happens to be the one that gets to deal with all of current Ricky's problems. And if we just mm -hmm. kind of keep pushing it off to future Ricky, then eventually there's no problems because future Ricky will deal with it. Oh, that, that's a good statement. Okay. And, you yeah, know, present Ricky understand. doesn't want to deal with problems, so it's a future Ricky problem. I'm sure it's that good. we aren't clearly creating a catastrophic problem in the near future for future Ricky. So there you have it, folks. If we have any procrastination, just blame future Ricky. Yeah. Screw that guy. Screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's throw in another question. Um, Ricky, backpack, uh, another fellow Zeta who picked up the title of king this season, wants to know, what Minecraft animal do you compare with the Zetas? Can you give us a little insight in your animal comparisons with the Zetas? But oh. just let do a few, because we'll be yeah. sitting here till morning. Yeah, we can't do them all. Um, I think What's the first thing that comes to mind? First thing that comes to mind is the raccoon. I think of Jewel, because it's a little trash panda. Um, I would say what? an elephant goes with mindless because he's just so wise and all-knowing at all times it just kind of comes to mind real quick there ah uh, yeah yeah um and i'd say the sharks that we have in the ocean are kind of like cable cable yeah i just feel Don't. like he's always going after uh the next best way to make some diamonds and i kind of think of the show shark tank okay so for the next question ricky Mm -hmm. Here's a question for you. In one of your episodes in the series called Minecraft Wiki, two years ago, you had a video titled 32k blocks of quartz. This sounds like a lot, but we all have seen what amazing projects you uh, got up to in Zetacraft, thinking back to the moments. Do you still think 32k blocks is a big, big task for you, or do you rather take things slower? Um... That's a very loaded question, and I'll give you a multi-part answer to that one. So mm -hmm. the 32,000 quartz blocks in the Minecraft with, with Ricky series, that was actually before I had ever used Lightmatica before, and most importantly, the easy place function to be able to build some quicker, larger builds. So that was a project that was done entirely by hand, no pre-planning, and I'd get halfway through it, want to make changes, so I had to remove some of the blocks as well. And for that reason, as well as the fact that all of those blocks were obtained through villager trading, so that process alone was a very tedious process or project, I would say it felt like a lot for what the project was. Now, on the flip side, when we get to, say, Season 2 of ZetaCraft, there's one where I had mined out 200,000 snow blocks in order to clear off the mountain. And just mining blocks as opposed to placing blocks, it kind of puts the numbers in perspective and they kind of changes because it's a lot easier to dig things out than it is to strategically place the blocks. So you think you take things slower right now with uh, like Zetacraft instead of what you did in Minecraft with Wiki, like you have Lightmatica? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I think that my pace of building is still rather quick, but you don't necessarily always see it. Uh, episode by episode because a lot of resource gathering behind the scenes and like Medica allows me to build at a grander scale in a similar time frame look at that okay well that's a great answer but going back to Minecraft with Ricky there's one thing I noticed so your name in Minecraft wasn't always Ricky CFD uh, that is correct you used to be known as Ricky Scraft on the Simacraft server and I have followed up question for you on this. Uh-huh. What is it? HypnoJo asked, one other of our awesome Zetas asks, what does this CFT mean? And I think it's a good question. Uh, can to get the record straight? Is it just craft? Is it a secret code? Is it an ancient prophecy? Or is it just an, a random assortment of letters? So, I think it makes sense uh, that it's country fried tomatoes. Country fried tomatoes. You hear it here first, everybody. Country fried tomatoes. CFT. So nobody can get it wrong anymore. <laughs> so do you like country fried uh, tomatoes? Oh, not particularly. 
<laughs> okay, let's let's just go to the next. Are we question. sure it doesn't mean certified field technician? It's the question is to you, Ricky. It, the real answer is it means whatever you want to mean, and every time someone asks me that, I will give a different response. You heard it at first, everybody. We never know. <laughs> Okay, so uh, one of our last viewers uh, asked uh, in the Discord, uh, we have a question from Fart Lardquad, beautiful name, I must say. What's the game that you got, uh, got you into gaming? Ricky, do you have any fun memories of a game that sparked your passion for gaming? Uh, so there are two games that immediately come to mind. Uh, Final Fantasy X and Kingdom Hearts, both for uh, PlayStation 2. Oh. I played so many hours of those games as a kid that those were the games that I definitely got me into gaming the most. Okay, okay, that's a good answer. I, I like both of them. I've played both of them too. PlayStation 2, top tier, I gotta I, say. I have hundreds of hours of those games over my years. Understandable. So, Ricky, final question before we go to the lightning round. Okay. If you could add any new feature in Minecraft, what would it be? What's the thing you are really missing in Minecraft right now? Okay, so this is one and that uh, I know multiple Zetas and share. And we are going to our sponsored message. We'll be right back into our interview. Wait, but I have answer. I want <laughs> colored leaves. <laughs> it's a thing we want to color the leaves. <laughs> Let us color the leaves, please. <laughs> Why can't I tell the fans I want to color the leaves? Come visit my town and engage in activities like walking on this bridge, walking down the street, or even walking through this alleyway. Don't miss out on seeing historical values like this old van or Windows 95. And of course I have shops! 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 So what are you waiting for? Come visit! Uh, did I already mention that I have shops? Okay, and we're back. We're waiting on the important question. What does Ricky want in Minecraft Warfare? What is he missing? Ricky, what is your answer? So I share this answer with many of the Zetas. We've actually talked about this a lot behind the scenes. The one thing we feel like Mojang needs to add to Minecraft is the ability to dye leaves and have them actually maintain the color once they died. So you can have red, blue, purple, orange leaves of that, any of the different leaves in the game. That, that's kind of good. That's perfect. I, w I would love that. I know many of the Zetas agree that that is the one feature Minecraft absolutely needs and one of the nice things about this modded season is we can show off many different colored leaves to show it can be done yes i think so too i think it's a uh, it will be an easy thing to implement and it will help out a lot of builders oh it would make building so much nicer when it comes to the organics so before we go to the lightning round i'll give you a, sort, a random assortment of words we're going to ask the audience if they have any questions, of course, because we have a lovely audience. Is there anybody in the audience who would like to ask a question? Uh, Apparently, the audience <laughs> is very shy, so... <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, can I get an autograph, please? Uh, as soon as we're done here, I would be glad to give you an autograph. Yes. <laughs> so humble. He stayed always so humble. It's okay, all about Ricky, are you ready for the lightning round? Do, 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 lightning round. I'm giving you 10 words. Okay. Okay. And you're going to give a response as quick as you can. Oh, boy. I'm Are concerned. you ready for this? I don't think anyone can ever be ready for this, but go ahead. Okay. Are you ready, Ricky? I, I guess. Creeper. Boom. Oak log. Um, tree. Slimes. Ew. Arkenstone. Uh, beautiful. Small human. Jewel. Terra firma. <laughs> uh, blacksmithing. Armada. Pitiful. Redstone. W what was that? Redstone. Oh, reliable. 
Miss CFT. Uh, love of my life. Food. Uh, taco. Terraforming. Massive. The end. Scary. Uh, no, 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 no. That was the end of the, uh, <laughs> of the questions. <laughs> All right. You got me, got me on that one. Well, thank you, Ricky. Thank you for joining us. And Ricky CFT, check out his channel. Links in the description. And a lovely audience. Yay. Thank you so much for this interview, Geek. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, get out of my studio, is how we say. Everybody give a big applause for Ricky. <laughs> did, did Jill just flew up? Magic. <laughs>